Hello gamers, welcome back to So That's Gaming and another At Games Legend Ultimate video. So in a previous video we talked about how you can add your own games and uh, you know, so if there's those arcade favorites or console favorites that you want to add, you can do so by using the add-on and add-on X tools. Now, while those are all neat and all, uh, you can take it a step further and I will demonstrate. It's like here, for example, we have all these console games. Some of them are Nintendo, some of them are Super Nintendo, some of them are Sega Genesis, and some are SG-1000. So just a little bit of everything in here. But what if you wanted this to be a little bit more organized? Well, we can do that. And it's no fancy hack. It's actually a something, a feature that's actually available through the official App Store X, which we will show you here. And it's called Coin Ops X. Here it is right here. So I will show you what that is. Get that launched. So Coin Ops X, what is it? Simply put, it's a front end that gives you a more graphical user interface when launching new games with including video previews with sound of course and you can sort them using playlists so that you can choose which you want let me just turn that down it might be a little loud there we go so let's see you can, you can sort the playlists by showing all the games or the specific system you're actually wanting to play in this case atari 7800 Last played game, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, so on and so forth. And for each game, on this little wheel here, now those of you familiar or have ever heard of Hyperspin, this might look a little bit familiar. So you can go through all of these on the, on the one side. And if you're not sure what the game is, well, no problem because it's going to show you a video preview. So let's go and head over to the computer and we'll show you how to get this set up. All right, so we're over here on the computer. Now there's a couple of different ways we can do the whole coin ops X. We can use a single flash drive or you can use multiple flash drives. Um, if you're gonna have a lot of these created, it might be easier to go ahead and have a second uh, flash drive that you'll install coin ops X onto. Um, I'm not gonna demonstrate that in this, well, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to show off the, the two flash drives set up, but I will show you how to set up a single flash drive to be used with CoinOps X. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm using a SanDisk 32GB, uh, and I'm using USB 3.0 because, well, it loads CoinOps X quicker when using the USB 3.0 port. Now, if I didn't mention it before, I apologize, but for, for clarification, um, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure this will work on the 1.0 cabinets. Um, it definitely will on the 1.1 because 1.1 can't take advantage of what's been known as one sauce. Um, the 1.1 cabinet can't run one sauce like, you know, the 1.0 can. It's a similar kind of interface, but it has more features. It's able to run more systems. But since we are on a 1.1 cabinet, uh, it's updated to a certain firmware to where CoinOps X becomes available and we're able to take advantage of that. And so let's get started. Let's go and get our flash drive plugged in here. And we're going to basically destroy the, uh, the flash drive. So, all right, so let's go over here to the computer. So here you are. Here we have a, our flash drive. Um, I'm just gonna ignore whatever is currently on it because it's a brand new flash drive. And click, clicking this PC, go down here and click manage. And this will pull up your, um, you know, your computer management, but we want disk management. And you see here it's drive F. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go down here and find drive F, there it is. And we are going to delete this line. I'll give you a warning saying you're going to lose all your stuff. I'm going to click yes. 
and for since we're just going to do this as like a demo, I'm just going to make a I'm just going to split the volume in 50/50. So first half is going to be 16384 for 16 gigabytes, and I guess we can make that. Or oh, all right. Now this is important. I've I found that I've had issues with this. So when it's choosing a drive letter, it's always good to have the first partition. Now this is if only if you're using the single flash drive method. Um, to find a flash, make sure the first partition is the lower letter. So in this case, I'm going to choose R. We're going to choose FAT32, and we're not going to label it. Just click Next and then Finish. And that will create that. I'm going to go and close that. And this other half, we're going to create a new volume. Um, okay, whatever. Next. And then we're going to choose S because it's after R. <laughs> and on this, I'll go ahead and create, we'll make this. What's well, small enough? If it's if it's larger than 32 gigs, you'll choose X fat, and we're gonna go ahead and call this Coin Ops X. You don't have to do this. It's just yeah, moving right along. So we're calling it Coin Ops X. Finish. Voila. Okay. So now we're done with this, and right here I have some files all set up here. Let's see, we're going to go open our flash drive, where'd it go, there we are. So here's our flash drive, and these are just some files I put together. Now in the previous video, you remember I made some a UCE folder and we moved everything over there. Well, I found that you can separate them into different folders, and so the purpose for that well, I'll show you when we go back to the cabinet. Now you'll notice there's this other folder called Cox or Coin Ops X. And inside this folder is where you're going to put all your artwork, where you acquire it. That's on you. Now there are pre made builds. I will not be able to provide you with any links, but Google is your friend. And just remember Sauce and Coin Ops X, and you should be able to find it for the ALU or at Games Legends Ultimate. So in here, for example, you know, you get all your cover art and then the logos, which will, which are on the, the, the wheel, which is where all the logos are. And the marquee is the sign at the top of the arcade that's displayed in, on the screen. Now, another neat feature about CoinOps X is that it is compatible with um, the Pixelcade or the bit pixel that you can use to replace your existing marquee and make it all retro looking so it's pretty neat so um, and then all your videos and the videos if you're gonna create your own video samples they need to be 640 by 480 I believe yeah yes now it might be different for these uh, vertical screens I don't know but so we're gonna copy all of these folders over here to our flash drive the second partition not the first partition because the first partition is going to be formatted to a proprietary format on the at games now just like in the previous builds we still have to run the add-on x tool so you know here we'll find our flash drive here s we're just going to drop that in there so that way boom and since this only has a handful of games, this should actually go pretty quick. All right, we're all done. And as you see, just like before, it created an add-on X folder. So we're done with our flash drive. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to arcade and we'll sh show you what, it, what, we, what we created. So, all right, let's go ahead over. All right, back on our at games. All right, so you can see at the top, there currently isn't any flash drives installed. So we're just gonna plug our USB drive into the USB port, in this case the 3.04 on mine, so I have a 1.1 cabinet. To demonstrate those 
who were interested in having different categories. Let's go ahead and launch our coin out or add on X. And you can see here it will organize all your UC files into uh, their folders Arcade, Genesis, NES, and SNES. That's all cool and all, but we want all the fancy videos and stuff. So let's go and get that set up. So first, if you're using a single flash drive or or multiple flash drives, either way, you're going to have to run this through the flash drive X setup. That's under settings, under one of the menu settings, flash drive X. So to run that, now don't worry about formatting all the games and stuff and artwork we've already put on there because this is designed to format only the first partition. So first we got to format it. All right. After that's done, we have to mount this. In some cases, you might have to do this twice. Well, we'll see what happens this time around. So now we're mounted so we can go back and I have to go to the app store here. I have to go down to coin objects. This isn't installed, so we'll have to install that. And this will get installed into that first partition that it just formatted. Now, let's see if it'll launch since there's not very many games for it to. Uh... All right, no problem. Should try launching it one more time real quick. Okay, now. Don't worry, it did not format your your games. The only thing we have to do is we're gonna remove it. Wait for the USB thing to disappear here for a second. Now this won't be a problem when you first boot up because it'll automatically mount everything that needs to be mounted. Plug that back in. Now unfortunately we will have to go back to settings and go back to flash drive X. And we'll have to choose mount again. There we are. Mount success. We'll go back. Our flash drive shut up. So now we can go back to Corn X. And we can launch it. And here we are. So as you see here, all games. This will have all the games that are on the flash drive. Now using the X button, you can sort it specifically by console. And all of our games that we've added to have their own custom artwork in the background, the marquee, and a video preview. And not all of them will have a custom marquee. You can make them, but... And there's Super Nintendo. And the Genesis. And, of course, arcades. So there you go. Pretty neat, and a little front end to make things a little bit more exciting on your coin ops X. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.